So things didn't make sense. But then I started thinking, well, wait a minute. In order to explain why quantum mechanics works and why it could be so powerful, because, you know, all chemistry is quantum, basically. Right, all chemistry is quantum, hundred uh, percent. Nuclear bombs, nuclear energy is quantum, right, hundred uh, percent. A majority of the semiconductor devices are quantum. You need to understand quantum effects to build CMOS devices, semiconductor devices, IC chips, right? So they are part, ingrained part of our of our life. But we don't know how to interpret it. So we can make engineers and scientists can make a lot of money building these quantum devices now uh, lots of effort many companies countries in the world are spending tons of money billions of dollars on building quantum computer right that's the new race scientific rate and technological race but nobody understands why quantum computer works right so i was thinking about this and uh, surprisingly a very clear answer was coming from buddhism that Buddhism was actually explaining lots of these things in different language, coach in different language, right? In different words, knowing Buddhism, having a dive into, uh, into uh, quantum mechanics, I was able to connect these two things and they say there is some, this uncanny compatibility uh, between the two. So to me, I use, I'm, I'm, I'm a student of quantum mechanics, right? Because I'm engineer, electrical engineer by electronic engineer by profession. I'm diving into quantum mechanics and I use Buddhism to explain, to understand why quantum mechanics works, right? It's not that uh, the, 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 the physics of quantum mechanics that, that doesn't work. So Schrodinger's equation basically describes everything at the quantum level, right? And it's been used over and over again, millions of times to explain all the phenomena, right? It does work, right? There has been no example contradicting Schrodinger equation. But the only problem we don't know the interpretation of Schrodinger equation, right? There are different in interpretations and none of them really make sense, to be honest, right? So I'm using Buddhism to try to understand why, how can we make sense out of this new field of science?